Unleash the power of knowledge and connect with the heartbeat of the African diaspora. Download our African Diaspora News Channel app now on Google Play and Apple App Store. Stay informed with authentic and diverse perspectives, breaking news and cultural insights. Immerse yourself in a community that celebrates unity, resilience and progress. Experience the vibrancy of the diaspora at your fingertips. Don't miss out. Empower your perspective today. Search African Diaspora News Channel and join the conversation. The unemployment wave hits the shores of the medical field. Hello, my name is Renee Lomorema and I am your host right here on the African Diaspora News Channel reporting live from South Africa, Johannesburg. Just when you thought the unemployment rate in South Africa couldn't get any worse. Well, it has. Over 8,000 doctors are unemployed. Hundreds of doctors, nurses and other healthcare professionals rallied outside the union buildings in Pretoria, urging the government to address the financial problems plunging the healthcare sector and highlight the need to increase the budget and create jobs for over 8,000 healthcare professionals. This follows an ongoing public cry from doctors who have completed their studies, completed their community services, but are still unemployed. Doctors will be jobless next week. The South African Medical Association Trade Union says government has once again failed to absorb these newly graduated medical doctors. ENCA reporter Moloko Moloto has the story. Hundreds of young doctors are facing a bleak future. We have about a... a, a consolidated list of about 428 doctors who are sitting in limbo. Unemployed doctors has since come forward saying they've been unemployed for over 11 months. But what is more shocking is the fact that many hospitals in the rural areas and townships complete complain of the shortages of doctors. I'm unemployed. I, my parents are actually also taking care of other people. I, I actually have a battery because we are coming from what some of us are coming from what disadvantaged backgrounds. You can't even afford much. So now what am I going to do? I go back home. I don't even. I can't even buy something as simple as a toothbrush. I understand, and I'm saying no, it is a commitment. I think you do. We, may, we are making a commitment. Uh, here. We'll finalize the contract with Kwazulu by the end of the year. Okay, that's that's, 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 that's that. That's that's that. That. That's 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 that. You've been making us promises from yes. August. You said there was yes. gonna be an exam, yes. and then you use, and then you guys said September, and then from September you said October. Yes. Now you're telling us December. Yes. And how many? How are we supposed to believe that? that? How many of us are here saying that? Then now how is it meeting your requirements? That's why now we have to get what is called a deviation. Some have resorted to rehiring pensioned doctors to work for less than their minimum wages. Some doctors claim they haven't been remunerated for the extra hours they've put in their shift. So what is it? This for me is a very emotional topic yes. because as you know, I'm also post com serve. And I just feel like we've been through so much, yes. especially brown people, yeah. fighting battles, financial battles, um, family sacrifices, all these things. And then com serve is finished and now I have no job. So how do you reconcile that? experience of i just went through the most to just get here now i'm here and i'm still going through the most sure you don't reconcile it you stand up and say something needs to change you you need to be the change that's it i i think because of what i've been through there's nothing in me there's no fiber that i'm made up of that says it's okay mm. we, we'll see what happens i cannot yeah i cannot for the life of me and I think to say that we can reconcile it excuses the systemic failure. It excuses that it shouldn't be like that. Yeah. So I don't think we should reconcile. I don't think we should be okay with it. Mm -hmm. So that's just to answer your question. I, you can't reconcile it because it's unfair. Yeah. Is the government failing to employ these doctors due to the shortage of funds? Is this a new strategy to hire pensioners to serve? I foresee danger in the healthcare sector because these doctors might want to find employment outside the country, increasing the brain drain, losing skillful doctors that we desperately need, and weakening the economy. Are we really willing to lose these talented, skillful young doctors because the government wants to save extra cash to fund their extravagant lifestyles? 
medicine is a field of opportunities you get employed while at school so what is happening in south africa really is disheartening and i blame the ruling party i blame the anc during the ANC manifesto held in Durban recently, Ramaphosa promised these doctors that they shall be employed and they are working around the clock to create jobs for the unemployed youth. But how sustainable are these jobs? Are they long lasting or is it just a ploy to get votes? He also stated that he will ensure that learners enro enroll in subjects such as science, technology and robotics. But what happens when these learners complete their, uh, their science courses and their robotic uh, courses? Are they going to get employed or are they going to be another failed experiment? It's like a never-ending cycle with, a, with our government. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and no one wants to admit the truth to us. Comment to us your views and opinions in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and share the broadcast. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss these groundbreaking conversations right here on the African Diaspora News channel. My name is Renee Lomorema. It's been an absolute pleasure.